Right, this video describes the benefits you can expect to see from the intersource collaboration described in this learning path. Remember that intersource applies when a guest team needs functionality from a host that they aren't able to deliver. Now, the immediate benefit of intersource is that there's a scalable way for the guests to get the functionality they need when they need it without the long-term burden of maintaining it. That result is the shining benefit of intersource. It's very exciting. There are benefits to the host team as well. Remember that as part of the process of Intersource, the host team has agreed that the submitted functionality is good and useful and desirable. That means that the host is getting engineering help in making their product better, better for the submitting guests and also all the other consumers in the host ecosystem. This effect gives the host team a strategy for scaling the engineering time being put into its products. During times of high demand for change in the host team's products, the engineering capacity to make those changes will organically appear in the form of guest contributors submitting via Intersource. I've personally seen this effect on a team I was on. There was a period of a few months where we experienced very high demand for changes in our systems. During that time, we were able to nearly double our engineering throughput by focusing our time on facilitating the many intersource contributions that came in from all around the company. Intersource became our force multiplier, allowing us to temporarily act larger than we were to fill the demand of the organization. All of this change happened without formal management involvement. There were no additional planning, alignment, or strategy meetings, no reallocation of resource, no stretch goals. Intersource allowed engineering time to organically flow where the organization needed it. When the time was over, we scaled back to our normal engineering throughput and capacity. Now, host teams that regularly receive inner source contributions also have fantastic requirements and prioritization alignment. Now, every host will do its best to ensure that it's working on what its consumers need in a way that's useful for them, but there's no substitute when a guest team is the one submitting the actual code uh, there's certainty that what is submitted will be useful for them, and it's something that they need right now. Sure, it's only one team, but that guest team is likely representative of many others in the host team's ecosystem. Regular participation in Intersource also breaks down traditional company engineering silos. In the individual projects that are collaborated on, as more and more contributors submit, the project becomes more and more useful to more parts of the company. Also, there's a change in the hearts and minds of the participating engineers to break down that engineering silo mindset. I've seen that happen. Engineers that are introduced to Intersource through a successful project carry the cross-team collaboration mindset to other parts of their daily work. There are so many benefits to be had from Intersource. Guest teams can get what they want, when they want it, without having to maintain it long term. Host teams have help in building their products. They can scale organically for the needs of the organization. They get fantastic requirements and prioritization alignment, and engineering silos within the company break down. All these benefits are to be had through effective application of the principles of Intersource.